Hey everyone, it's uh, it's No Face. It's about 2 a.m. in the morning here, and I've been uh, basically uh, to explain it as best I can. I, I don't write a script for these things. Whatever I do, one of my own videos, because I just feel like the raw. No, not even the raw. Just like just just like fucking telling you, saying saying what I'm doing. As I go along, I don't know, it might, it, it, it kind of both works as entertainment and it's kind of funny, I guess, I don't fucking know. But, uh, uh, what I'm working on right now is I'm trying to increase video quality overall. Uh, the video picture quality, uh, we've been running into problems with the, uh, fucking backwards compatible PS3, the launch one that I bought. Which is expensive. Holy shit! Though. Uh, I don't know. It, it's just really unreliable, is all. And it got me thinking. Well, we might have just have to downgrade back to the uh, regular PS2 and use a composite to HDMI converter. Well, I went out and got like uh, Universal plugins, and I'm gonna have to start testing the Wii and GameCube as well. Uh, I collect a lot of like retro games, lots of retro games, lots of retro systems, and I want those to look good. Now, you can't exactly upscale uh, the overall quality of a game, but you can make it like smooth a little bit better. Like a, a component, uh, can, uh, this thing I want to talk about. I bought a component to HDMI adapter. It hasn't come in yet, it's being mailed. And in case that is a bust, I've been doing a set of um, fucking. God dang it. Uh, uh, a set of general composite to HDMI videos that look as well as they can, as well as they can make them, and the variants are the pictures I've been playing around with the settings. Now, I, I've always believed that these are all going to be pre-touched uh, up in the video editing software, and that, the reason for that is I've always believed you have to make something look good and give something of quality before you build on that because uh, you can't you can't take shit and make it better it'll still be shit so i figured if you take something that looks good already it looks good on its own and then fix what you feel is broken in there then, then it can only be improved from then uh uh, this, this will be like a short, not, not even series, just like a short set, like a part one, part two, all that jazz, and uh, basically I'm going to be going over uh, the four that I feel look the best with the control, uh, the, not control, the fucking, the, the god dang, uh, yeah, the control group, yeah, the control uh, number being the default, which is 000, which you see on the bottom left there. I'm going to label these 1, 2, 3, and 4 for picture. Now, I, I did a lot of recording and uh, I have a, a set of things, but uh, right now I'm going to just go over this one, which is uh, Retro Click Future Crack of Time. Uh, it has a very, it has like a very bright uh, look to it. It has a lot of palettes to it. It looks basically like the the founding thing I want to go off of for PS3 so uh, between these th these four uh, right now I'm partial to four right now three looks good in certain lightings but when it, you'll see it later in, in dark areas it looks a little bit worse it looks a little bit shit um, I'm hoping that the general idea will be that once we get the component cables, because component will make the blurriness of the PS3 look a lot, lot more defined. You, you, you definitely notice it, because uh, I've, I've had both before, but I've never had a converter for it. Right, when it comes to composite component, uh, composite tends to be a little bit more blurry and less quality because it's like 480p to... It's like 20p, 280p to 480p. Well, as the component is kind of like a 40 i it has the like you'll, you'll be able to see like more defined lines and less tearing when you use component though i think component might have higher latency i'm not entirely sure 
uh, this will be like a series of uh, tests, basically, and I want to go through what looks good and what doesn't look good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play this, let things move around, and s see which one uh, everyone seems to for the PS3 one right now. This is this one right now is gonna be PS3. Uh, let that kind of play stuff out, and then gonna go over the footage that I've collected of the next game. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and let that happen. So there you have it. Uh, for those ones, I just want to have an opinion uh, on basically what you guys think looks the best. But don't worry, I have a lot more footage for it later. I just want to explain some things before they hop into it. With the PS2, that is, uh, the cables have this distinct thing about them, and that's when you launch the PS2, you can change these settings. Uh, the settings being the difference between uh, RGB and YCB, PBE, CR, PR, which uh, depends on composite component. And I'm trying to figure out which one works best for what with composite right now. So I took a total of uh, eight separate videos for the upcoming uh, game you're about to see, which is Ratchet Deadlocked. Uh, it has a lot of moments and different color palettes as yeah, most Ratchet and Clank games, but this one specifically has a lot of effects that are used that'll help uh, be able to clarify what basically uh, looks good, I suppose. What I, what I mean to say about that is it has a lot of uh, different lighting effects, different texture mapping, uh, a lot more details to it than the other Ratchet and Clank games of the PS2 area, and a lot more details than most PS2 games, in fact. Basically, uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be labeling these, and what, what they're gonna be labeled as is you'll see picture one through four, which will be those same settings, which is which were originally labeled one two three four, and a secondary labeling, which will be RGB and Y C B P B C R P R, and in that. Uh, I'm going to do a various amount of things. I'll show some of them side by side with uh, what they look like, kind of give like a clarity to it, shift things over, make, thing, make, make sure things are comparable, and uh, overall just make sure the quality is something to look for and that it'll make things easier to pick out and uh, compare to each other for now. Uh, I'll make another one of these uh, post-editing uh, after whichever one of these gets, after whichever one of these gets chosen. Uh, if the ones that get chosen, the, the one that wins basically, I, I wins, I don't know. The one that uh, people seem to think looks the best, I'll go ahead and edit that and try to make it look even better with my editing software. Uh, that, that, that'll be a part two upcoming. Um, uh, when the composite comes in, I'll redo the test. Uh, I'll probably keep the same settings though, if it looks good overall. And figure out, uh, I might redo some things like the RGB, Y, C, P, P, B, C, R, P, R uh, effects. Right now I'm using a default color space is another thing I have to talk about because I'm not entirely sure what that does to be completely honest because there's two other settings for that. There's uh, 709 and 601 which I have no idea what they do to be completely honest. I'm trying to figure it out as I go along. Uh, but hopefully this will shed a few lights on things. Uh, make sure it's all comparable to the best of my ability and things are played out uh, in a very cohesive way 
and hopefully it'll look seamless by the time I'm done with all this. Uh, at the end, I'll probably do another talk through, and I really just want to know what looks the best, how to improve in the visual quality of my videos and the future videos. Uh, this this effect won't apply to anything we've already recorded, but it will apply to things that we are going to record in the future, which I, that, that's going to date some videos. You guys are going to know now. <laughs> but uh, you, you got to know how lazy I am. Shit. Oh, no. Uh, but yeah, just hope for the best here.